All right. Hello, everybody. This is Craig O'Boyle. I am going to show all of my agent friends in the Pikes Peak MLS how to find properties and how to list properties uh, in the MLS properly when they have an assumable mortgage. All right. Let's start with searching. So I'm going to go up to the search tab here, default search. And down at the bottom, you can add in additional fields. I have a bunch in here and I've already added it in, but if you click add remove, it'll give you different fields to search. And if you search assumable loan, you can check it and click add and it will show up. You can also do loan type if you want. I've already got it added. So that will show up down here at the bottom for me. I can click yes. And if you've added it in, in the search, you can select a payment range. So let's say I was looking for homes with a payment under $2,000 or less. And then I can save that and hit search. But right now I'm just gonna check yes. Uh, in our system, I've got active. Take out single family, just any homes. Specifically in our system, there are 36 matches as of today. And here they are. Now, the truth of the matter is, I know there's a lot more property out there that does not show uh, property that's assumable. I know this because I spent a bunch of time yesterday for a client who's looking for assumable, looking at homes that match their criteria and then finding homes that may have a VA or FHA assumable loan. Let me just show you really quick how I did that. Let's see, Resi default. Say I'm looking for an active single family home. Let's say I'm looking for something under uh, or between, let's say 500,000. Oops, I don't need the thousand in there. 500 and 800. Let's just use those numbers. Uh, narrow it down to El Paso County. Uh, maybe District 20, trying to get the number down to something manageable. Uh, let's say we want uh, five plus bedrooms and three car garage. What have I got? 24. Okay, so let's see. Oh, let's do existing home too, because that will narrow it even further. All right, so I've got so many results. Let's see. I'll just pick one here and we'll see what we can find. Let's look at this house. So I go to the listing and then I go to history. And if you scroll down on history, it'll tell you the loan, last loans here. So the last one here funded was a conventional loan, but prior to that was a VA loan. So this would not be assumable, All right? So let's try another one. Let's go, I don't know, let's try this one. History, scroll down. So this one has a VA loan on it, 540 done in 2021. So you know it's got likely a good rate. Go back to the listing and the listing agent who I'm not gonna out. They do have it in here. They do have it as assumable, so that's good. Probably should have checked no, so I didn't get one, but that's another one, a way of finding that. So you can do that with a lot of listings. Let's talk real quick about adding a listing, where to put it. I'm gonna to go to one of my existing listings uh, that is not assumable, but I'll just show it to you. If you go to, I'm gonna go here and edit it. So this is where you're entering your listing, you're going through, and one of the sections under financials will ask you right here, assumable loan. It's auto-checked no. Here's where you would check yes. Here is where you would put um, any information about the loan. Um, and loan balance is hugely important. Payment is hugely important. Interest rate is important. And then if you're giving the payment, is it P-I-T-I? -I, are you just doing principal and interest? I think you should put P-I-T-I -I in there. More information that you can put there, the better. And then I also think it's very important 
to put just information in the show agent remarks section that details the, the loan. You might want to be specific if it's a VA loan, whether or not they'll accept a VA to non-VA assumption. And then you're giving as much information to put out there as you can through the Pikes Peak MLS system so people can find these. So if you've got more questions, reach out to us at assumptionsolutions.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.